If anybody were to ask me, Christian, what is something you think all people should do? Well, I would say, I think all people should invest in themselves. Regardless of, uh, I'm not gonna say what it takes, but you know, you shouldn't let circumstances go ahead and kind of dictate how much you invest in yourself, right? Today's video was supposed to start a lot differently. Crazy enough, Michaela and I, we're gonna go pick up another project car. which is kind of ridiculous, it's kind of funny. Obsessive, passionate, I don't know. You could use, you compulsive, you could use a ton of different words for what we were gonna do today. So today's video was literally gonna be Michaela and I getting inside our current GSR project and going to pick up another car. There's some, there, there's some sucky people out in the world, man. It's like the second time that it's happened in like five videos where I'm gonna go look at a car and they ended up selling it just before. And like, I had made a deal with this guy, but long story short, we're not getting a car. Like I said at the beginning, when we were starting, if there's something that I would definitely tell people to do, it's to invest in yourself. So instead of the money that we were gonna use to go ahead and buy a new car, or buy another project car, we're gonna use that money to go ahead and buy a tool set um, right now so that we can be nice and set for everything else that we need to do in terms of this project and in terms of the Supra. Got our handy dandy masks. Yep. I'm gonna just wear it like this. I'm gonna just walk in like this. Don't do it. No, I'm gonna do it. No, what I'm if gonna they do kick it. you out? What are you gonna... yeah, they'll, they'll probably kick me out more for the camera than they will for the freaking mask. You can't just walk up, pimp it'd be, it'd be, all it'd be no hella mask funny. on. It'd be hella funny. Okay, do it. Actually, you know what, full sentence, we'll do it. No, I'm not gonna do it. Exactly, that's what I thought. <laughs> all right, so we came to buy a mechanic tool set, but it's gonna be, I think he said it's aisle 12 for the mechanic tool set over here. Boom. So this is the one I was talking about. I'm gonna go ahead and purchase it because it'd be a good investment for myself, for the channel, for future work. Uh, and we need a 12 point in order to go ahead and install the manifold for the Supra. So that should do the job. As you can see, the air quality in California is not that good, which is the only reason why I'm wearing a mask while I'm outside my house in my driveway but we do have a project for today and today's project is going to be fixing the oil leak on the Integra so when I bought this car I mean I noticed right off the bat that this is probably one of the cleanest engine bays that I've seen on an older Honda um, it's not the prettiest but it's definitely one of the cleanest in terms of like oil leaks but one thing that I did notice is that it is leaking from the bottom so over the past few days what I've been doing is collecting parts so I got an oil pan gasket I got an exhaust manifold gasket and those are Pretty much the two main gaskets that you need when you're trying to go ahead and fix an oil leak on the bottom end of a Integra GSR. Like I said, I'm not too experienced with Hondas and all that type of stuff, so I'm not sure if it's the same for other Integras or if it's just specifically the GSR model. But from what I've been seeing and from the research that I've done, it seems like this oil pan gasket replacement is gonna be pretty simple. Now, fingers crossed, because every time you say something simple, it ends up being a huge pain in the ass. So, we're just gonna go ahead and work with what we got today and just kind of hope that everything runs smoothly. And I'm basically just gonna go through and show you guys how to go ahead and replace an oil pan gasket on a 1995 Acura Integra GSR. So in terms of the parts that you need to buy, you need to buy your oil pan gasket, you need to buy an exhaust gasket, you need to go ahead and get some oil, your oil filter, some degreaser and some brake clean just to go ahead and help you keep everything clean. These are what you need in terms of like what you're gonna need to buy. In terms of tools, there's gonna be very minor tools. I'll go ahead and show you guys those later. All right, so I got my helper today, which is a uh, mini meats, a little brother. And uh, essentially what you're gonna need is going to be a 12 millimeter and a 10 millimeter for the bolts on the oil pan gasket. So, the 12 millimeter is gonna be for the exhaust bolts. And as I mentioned before, the 10 millimeter is gonna be for basically everything else under. Um, I'm sure there's other bolts um, that we will come across that we might have to take off. And if we do, then I'll go ahead and uh, mention those when we get there. Step number one is you wanna jack up the car so that it's in the air, obviously. Make sure you guys jack it up. 
you know, properly. There are jack points on Integras, so make sure that your jack stands are on there and always use your jack as a kind of like a like a third leg. You want to make sure that it just supports the jack stands as well, so you want it to be on it supporting the car just so that you guys are safe, so that everything's safe. But the car is fully jacked up, so now we're gonna go ahead and start removing the exhaust bolts. exhaust nuts are off we have to go and undo the exhaust from the bottom um, so essentially where you want to disconnect it from is going to be from the header to the catalytic converter so there's two bolts I believe right here um, that we want to go ahead and disconnect and then that should go ahead and free up the manifold once we go ahead and unbolt those two bolts the header should go ahead and just drop and then we'll have access to the oil pan it's a uh, it's a bit of a struggle to get these guys out. I'm actually gonna need to go and get a new bolt because these are stripped. Um, so I'm gonna need a new bolt, new nut, but essentially, okay. We need to remove two of these in order to go ahead and remove the manifold or the header from the catalytic converter. And then there is one more bolt and that's down here. So the other bolt is gonna be right here and it's gonna be connecting to the block with a bracket. Um, and then that one is a 14. The ones on the exhaust for mine, for some reason, were 13s. I'm pretty sure they've been replaced before. There's two other 14s that hold a bracket to the exhaust flange right here. And those are two nuts. You take those off and everything should be free from there. This is my favorite tool in the whole freaking world, dude. This thing has made wonders in different jobs. But as you can see, the header is now loose. So from here on, we can go ahead and take this gasket off. Something that I like to do before um, I open my new parts is I like to compare them. So once I get this gasket off, we'll go ahead and compare it with the new one that's still in the box so that if I need to return, I can return it. This exhaust gasket is off. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. You can see this is the new exhaust gasket. So, that looks like it's actually the exact same brand and everything, so we're good to go. You can see it's draining oil right now, so we're just gonna wait a few minutes for that to go ahead and finish draining. And then from there, we should be able to start to drop the oil pan. The only thing that we need to take care of now is to remove this uh, plate right here that basically covers the mounting point of the oil pan and the transmission. I believe that's a 12, so there's 17, 12, 12, and 17, and then after that we should be good to go to go ahead and start taking off the oil pan. Finally managed to go ahead and get the brackets off on the bottom and the plate that covers the mounting point between the transmission and the engine. So now, all I have to do is go ahead and loosen up um, some of the 10 millimeter bolts that hold the oil pan in and the oil, plan sh uh, the oil pan should come right out. So from here on, as long as there's no issues with any of the bolts or anything like that, it should be a fairly simple and easy process.
So, for those of you guys who have never seen what the bottom of an engine block looks like, here it is without the oil pan. So you can see there's the oil sump. Um, and right now, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and clean up on that, clean up on the edges along here um, where it mates with the oil pan just to kind of clean it off, make sure it's all nice and clean and ready for the next gasket. But the uh, oil pan is right here. So this guy is definitely gonna need some cleaning before I go ahead and put it back on. Maybe even a little respray. All right, so as of right now, the oil pan gasket is now on and everything is bolted right up. Just clear it up for you. You can see the new gasket right there, nice bright blue. Um, I'm gonna end up taking the car to go get steam cleaned in the whole engine bay and the undercarriage anyway. So I didn't really clean too much over here, uh, but I did make sure that everything was nice and clean before putting it on. And you definitely wanna go ahead and take care of that just to make sure that all the mating surfaces are A-OK. -okay. So other than that, we're all set to go. Last thing we're doing now is going ahead and putting on the exhaust gasket. So that guy's all nice and on. Just gotta go ahead and mount on the exhaust manifold. Boom. Gonna get at least one bolt on here first, just to hold it in place. Then I'm gonna go down to the bottom, make sure all the brackets are tightened up, and then we should be all good to go after we tighten these. And refill it with oil. Always remember to refill it with oil before you turn the car. All right, so everything's buttoned up. The manifold is torqued down. Everything's all good to go. The only thing that is left to do is to connect the header back to the catalytic converter. But because the bolt that came out was stripped, I have to run to the store real quick to go ahead and get another bolt. I'll go ahead and be able to bolt those up. Oil is now in the crankcase already, um, but I don't want to turn on the car until I have those bolts because I don't, I don't want to hear a loud Honda. We all hear them. At three in the morning, on the days that we have to wake up early. And well, if I'm being completely honest, open header Hondas have a tendency to give you ear cancer. So, nah, no, not gonna do that. <laughs>